called kickball. Now, I'd never really heard of kickball, and I didn't understand the rules, but I thought I could probably figure it out. So they rolled this big red ball to me, and I thought that was some kind of obstacle. So I jumped over it, and then I ran up, and I kicked the guy in the mound right in the balls. And the ball crunch was so satisfying. He squealed like a little girl. And then after that, I was just addicted to kicking balls. I ran around all the bases kicking everybody in the balls. Everybody on the playground was just laying on the ground holding their balls. And I thought I was the kickball champion because everybody was calling me Ball Buster Brooklyn until the PE teacher ran up and told me to go to the principal's office for kicking people in the balls. So I kicked him in the balls, and then I went to the principal's office, and the principal told me that I was suspended for kicking people in the balls. So I kicked him in the balls, too. And then they called the cops, and as you can imagine, I kicked them in the balls, and they were not happy about that at all. So they sent me to jail, you know, they took my mugshot, I kicked the photographer in the balls, and then they sent me to my cell, and I kicked my cellmate in the balls. So then they sent me to the electric chair, and I kicked the executioner in the balls. And then after that, they didn't know what to do. So they called my parents, and my parents came and got me, and my dad said I was grounded for kicking people in the balls, and that that might teach me a lesson. So I kicked him in the balls. And then they sent me to a therapist to figure out why I was kicking people in the balls so much. And my therapist said it had something to do with unresolved feelings about my mother, so I kicked him in the balls. And then they sent me to a mental institution, and they put me in a straitjacket. But my legs were still free, so I kept kicking people in the balls. And then they put me in straight pants so I couldn't kick anybody in the balls. And then my parents and the teachers and the doctors and the cops and Bill Clinton, who was president at the time, they all got together and were trying to figure out what to do about me because I was a serial ball kicker. And then they decided that they needed to amputate my legs because I just could not be trusted with legs anymore. So they amputated my legs, and I haven't kicked anyone in the balls ever since. But if I had my legs back, I'd kick you in the